Hello everyone. So today at CG Tutes, we will learn how to build a high detail textured city in 3ds Max 2012 by using a plugin called Ghost Town. So first of all, you have to download the plugin from Kelad.net. So let's start by clicking Ghost Town. Let's go to the top view. Let's hide the grid. As you can see, this is the default grid system provided by the plugin. So always remember to create any shape, surface or geometry within the marked area that is keeping in mind the minimum area and always create anything larger than the minimum area marked. So let's create some spline shapes. Let's take a rectangle and a circle. Okay. So now let's convert it to editable spline and attach the surfaces. Okay. <coughs> now let's trim the extra area marked. Okay. That's done. Now let's weld the vertex. First, you have to fuse them, then weld. Always remember to fuse it first, otherwise, it will not properly weld, properly get weld. Okay. Now, let's move on to the perspective where we can see the buildings. Let's hide the grid once again. Click show guide button to remove the default grid system. Okay. Select the surface, click setup. Now click build and it will ask you to set the system unit to metric or centimeter system. Click yes. As you can see, there is an error on the script. So always remember to update the material library in the script. Otherwise it will give you this unknown property error. Okay, hide the material and click build again. And now you can see there's a city has been made in the viewport. Uh, I think it's a beautiful city. Okay. So now let's make a textured one. So for that you have to select texture here and click rebuild and here you can see a textured city it is pretty much well detailed and let's build some roads and roof stuffs by selecting um, street stuff and roof stuff okay and uh, yeah always remember to click high poly otherwise it will uh, otherwise it will don't show you the roof stuffs because they are high poly click rebuild and now you can see streets and some of the roof stuffs okay now if you want to change some of the textures here in the city we will see within a minute now if you want to change some of the textures of the building for that uh, first of all you have to go to a low poly version otherwise it will give you error 
click rebuild okay now it's a low a low poly model okay so select polygon now select the surfaces that you want to change okay go to material under first floor you will see some of the windows and doors like this one and click this button to put the material on the selected area select some more okay here you go okay now if you want uh, you can add random textures to your library like let's download some of them mm, let's see some images random images mm, let's select this one Uh, it's taking some time okay uh, so let's save the image window jpg okay now let's add that particular image to the material library inside the plugin let's go to desktop ghost town window and it will give you an io error where it will uh, tell you that it will be overwritten and now you can see your textured has been added to your library now let us select some of the surface once again and uh, reload the downloaded texture it will take some time always remember to click the update material library after adding some of the textures otherwise it will not work properly now as you can see the texture has been applied let's add some more okay so now let's uh, check some of other stuffs like uh, building setting let's zoom out let's go to white again it will rebuild and it will give you some of the white and gray model okay now let's play with some of the settings like uh, as uh, you can see there are house height house height variation floor height office height office height variation this word describe themselves so let's increase some of them and we will see some of the changes increase locked division size and house height house height variation okay uh, let's increase office height a bit let's click rebuild and here you can see there are some bigger buildings now you can if you want you can get them textured easily click rebuild and here is it okay now for sometime uh, if you want a top view of a city then uh, you may ask what we will do so for that uh, there is an option in the plugin for uh, top view you can use a palette system 
there are two type of palettes use palette like if you want you can change some of uh, some random colors here it's your choice to whichever color you want uh, okay now select use palette and click rebuild and there are different type of roof surfaces different colored i think okay now if you use the default use image palette system provided by the plugin and you can load the default plugin uh, that are given here if you want you can also add some of them on a uh, select this one and click rebuild okay now let's see some of the some scripts provided by the plugin so i would prefer to reset max otherwise it will give you errors because those scripts won't work on the previous area marked so i would prefer a new file so first of all click show guide again this time i am working in perspective just to be quick okay so, draw spline rectangle within the area marked okay now let's select custom scripts and custom under setup and uh, under custom scripts you can see some of random scripts that has been provided by the plugin now let's select some like uh, fallless 2 click setup build it will ask you again and it will give you an error as it is as this plugin is still in beta phase so you can get some error random errors that this has been a problem with this plugin so let's update the material again and click rebuild For script we will reset our scene and uh, we will take a new area, a new rectangle. First we will generate a random shape using this, sorry no, give you an error build yes and it will give you a random city it is here okay now let's select custom scripts and leave everything to default just change use image template to white otherwise we will get some errors and uh, select a custom script and click rebuild and as you here you can see this is a city built by or built using a custom script we will see one more click rebuild okay so and uh, there is an object library where you can see different libraries that has been added if you want you can add uh, different geometries that uh, you can create in max and just select them and name them here 
and click save and it will add uh, to the particular category in the object library okay and then the next time whenever you generate roof stuff or cars or uh, roads you will get those item randomly generated in your scene okay and uh, you can add different materials you know on your wish now there are some other options like uh, if you want to uh, generate a road or build a road and we can do that like um, if we take a line and uh, click okay and if we select road then it will generate road which is a uh, well detailed as you can see okay and uh, this plugin as this plugin is still in beta phase so there are some functions which will which will give you error so if you want you can refer uh, to the forum that is on kelat.net that's all for today thanks have a nice day